Patrick Stewart, the leading man of Star Trek The Next Generation and Star Trek Picard, is prepared and ready to come back for one more Star Trek movie. Stewart starred as Jean-Luc Picard for seven seasons of Star Trek The Next Generation and the four films that came after it in the franchise. It would be an understatement to say how important he is to the series. Fortunately, his reign as Captain Picard isn't over yet. Here's everything we know. First off, Patrick Stewart's definitely coming back, right? We saw our favorite captain return for Star Trek Picard, but in the upcoming third and last season, fans will finally get to see him reunite with the Star Trek The Next Generation cast. During the panel for the new season at San Diego Comic-Con, a fan from the audience asked Stewart if he'd been down to reprise his iconic role for a new Star Trek The Next Generation feature film. Yes, is the answer to that, bluntly, Stewart said. I think that would be a very interesting and exciting and worthwhile thing to achieve. Alex Kurtzman, current head of Star Trek's television franchise and co-creator of Star Trek Picard, also pitched in and said that he also feels that it could be really good and it has the potential, but we'll have to see what happens. Star Trek Picard Season 3 showrunner Terry Madales also showed his excitement at reuniting the crew. He said he even remembered watching the show premiere 34 years ago with his dad. That's where his love for science fiction started. It only made the most sense that the story of Jean-Luc Picard should wrap up by honoring the start. The crew of the USS Enterprise deserves a proper send-off. Not only are the fans super excited, but also he himself can't wait for the last season. Next up, who's going to be in the cast? Star Trek Picard Season 3 is going to star Patrick Stewart, once again taking on his role as Jean-Luc Picard, whom he played for the entirety of the seven seasons of the show. The show revolves around the ex-Enterprise captain entering the next phase of his life. The rest of the cast includes Michael Dorn, Brent Spiner, LeVar Burton, Jonathan Frakes, Jerry Ryan, Gates McFadden, Michelle Hurd, and Marina Sirtis. You can watch Star Trek Picard Seasons 1 and 2 streaming now on Paramount+. Plus. The third and final season of Star Trek Picard is scheduled to premiere on Paramount Plus in 2023. Star Trek Picard is prepping for a huge reunion in its last season, as the next generation's main cast will reunite for an exciting adventure decades after the series' conclusion. LeVar Burton recently even talked about the highly awaited reunion set for 2023, and the impressive way he, along with his fellow TNG vets, helped Patrick Stewart write out the Paramount Plus series like a pro. Finally, how did they help Patrick Stewart? Burton talked about working on Season 3 while at Megacon Orlando this year, but don't worry, he kept it spoiler-free. He even talked about his experiences reuniting with co-stars like Michael Dorn, Gates McFadden, and obviously Patrick Stewart. He didn't forget to applaud himself and the other cast members and how nicely they've aged. Burton gave attendees an idea of where Stewart was at when the gang appeared on the set, and opened up about how he's fully convinced that their presence gave the actor an added boost that might or might not have been needed. He talked about how proud he was of the whole team, because they look really good. He explained that he thinks that if they work together now, they'll have even more chemistry than they previously did, considering how close they all are as friends. Burton also mentioned that he attributed Patrick's longevity on the show to the love he got from his co-stars. He thinks that they all helped take him to the end. It wouldn't be hard to believe. Your job is definitely more enjoyable if you love the people you work with, and by the sound of it, these guys are really tight. Star Trek Picard went straight from wrapping things up on Season 2 to start filming episodes for the coming third season, so we couldn't blame Stewart, who's 82 years old by the way, for being extremely tired by the time the cast arrived. But it really looks like the established actor did find things easier by having his old friends around. Even though LeVar Burton didn't bag that Jeopardy gig he tried for, he'll fortunately get to once again take on what's arguably his most notable character in television, Geordi LaForge. Not that the pursuit gig is to be taken lightly either. The actor talked to attendees about playing the character again and couldn't stop stressing just how close the TNG cast has stayed, even after the show stopping airing. Burton didn't shy away from teasing what we can expect from the new season. We know now that there's going to be a female villain, and as for Geordi, he's going to have a higher Starfleet rank than when he saw him last. He's been promoted and is now a Commodore. Now, in other related news, why was Patrick Stewart sad? The English actor stopped by EW's Comic Con suite, recently accompanied by Gates McFadden, who will be returning as Dr. Beverly Crusher in Season 3. Here, he spoke about the final day of filming the last batch of episodes of his spinoff. Stewart opened up to EW about it, telling them how they were too busy to feel sad. There were so many things to do. But when he heard, and that's a wrap, being called, it became real to him. He really loved playing Captain Picard, even though he refused the role at the start, but everyone else working on the show convinced him how it wasn't just going to be a generic sci-fi series. It exceeded his expectations even beyond that. The actor insists he's not leaving his character, Jean-Luc. He'll always be in his heart.
Bernard. He even admitted there was a point in season 3 of Next Generation where he couldn't tell any difference between himself and his character. But apparently, this sort of thing is quite normal with actors. The better the quality of the show's writing and production, the more you feel it. It stops being a part of their work life, and they can't help getting emotionally involved. McFadden also teased what fans can expect from the dynamic between Crusher and Picard. She feels that these two have a very specific love relationship. It's unlike any other. She'd even go so far that she'd describe it as Shakespearean, and it's still there, even though they haven't seen each other in decades. That's impressive. The love between these guys is so much, it's hard to believe they're actors who worked on a show together, almost like a family. Next up, Star Trek breaks a record. Star Trek Strange New Worlds has officially set the record as the most watched Star Trek series debut on the Paramount Plus streaming service in Paramount's history. The most recent entry in the multi-generational science fiction franchise happens five years prior to Captain James T. Kirk taking command of the USS Enterprise, and the show follows Captain Christopher Pike, played by Anson Mount, along with his crew as they head forth on their five-year mission to see what lies in the vast reaches of the galaxy. There are a few reasons the show is received so well. It has an episodic structure, excellent writing, and on top of it all, stellar performances from the cast. And so, Strange New Worlds has also risen to become the highest-rated Star Trek entry on Rotten Tomatoes. This is the sixth show introduced into the Star Trek franchise after its rebranding by writer-producer Alex Kurtzman in 2017. After that, Kurtzman has looked over the release of four extra television series. Even though the critics were nice to see this one, die-hard fans didn't like the comeback to heavily serialized and dramatic storytelling. However, Strange New Worlds managed to win others over with its return to the classic form. Finally, Nichelle Nichols has passed away. Nichelle Nichols, most famous for playing Lieutenant Uhura in Star Trek The Original Series, has passed away at the age of 89. Her son, Kyle Johnson, confirmed the unfortunate news with a message he posted to Nichols' Facebook page. The message revealed that Nichols passed away peacefully due to natural causes, but she had a long, fulfilling life and was a role model for many. He ended the message with, Live long and prosper, an iconic dialogue of Spock's, another important character on Star Trek. Nichols' role as Uhura, who was a black woman working on the bridge crew of the USS Enterprise, inspired and paved the way for many others to follow, including future Star Trek actors such as LeVar Burton. Her iconic kiss with William Shatner's Captain Kirk in the episode Plato's Stepchildren was one that changed everything. It was the very first interracial kiss on American national television. She was so iconic in her role that NASA later asked her for help in recruiting minorities and women for their space program. There was even a documentary about it called Woman in Motion. Nichols had considered at one point walking away from her role as a Hura on Star Trek. Martin Luther King Jr. himself personally convinced her of how important the role was, not just for her, but for the community as a whole. And so, she stayed aboard the Enterprise. She'd already told Star Trek creator Gene Roddenberry about her plans to leave and wouldn't budge despite Roddenberry's request that she stay. When she changed her mind and revealed that she was staying, she found out that Roddenberry had already torn up her resignation letter and he handed her back the torn scraps. Now that's a story. That's a wrap for this video. See you in the next one.